You can take an entire course including topics in this video through our website and get a certificate of completion from RASOF, the online educational radio frequency institute located in Irwan, California. Instructions and coupon for taking this course is provided at the end of this video. In this part we are going to talk about active and passive components which are commonly used in uh, radio frequency circuits and uh, we are going to compare these two components and see uh, what are the differences. So let's start with uh, active components. An active device is any type of circuit component with the ability to electrically control current flow. So we can control the current passing through the active device. We can increase or decrease. Like uh, the example can be vacuum tubes and transistors. What about the passive elements? The components incapable of controlling current by means of another electrical signal are called passive devices. Resistors, capacitors, inductors, and uh, different kind of uh, passive components like transformers, diodes, they can't control the current. So we can see in this picture, as you see, this is a BJT transistor. Uh, this is uh, we can control the current if we control the if we change the current pathing uh, through the base. Uh, we call this IP. If we change this current, we will be able to change the IC because we know IC is equal to beta IB. So here, if we change the base current, we will change IC. So we can control this. But what about these passive elements? We can control the current here because resistor is always constant. We can control it. Of course, we can increase or decrease current uh, by using by uh, changing the voltage uh, between the two terminals of resistor. But this is not the case here. We are talking about the, uh, the, the element itself. It means that here we should have something inside this resistor in order to tune and change the current. So uh, this, this comp in this uh, passive component, we can do something like that. So uh, the same for capacitor and inductor, we can control the current here. So we say all active devices control the flow of electrons through them. And uh, there are some types, we say some active devices allow a voltage to control this current. So by changing the voltage, we can control the current passing through the device. But in some in some devices, we change the current and uh, control the current passing through the device. So for the first one, we, we call them voltage control because we are controlling the current using the voltage. But for the second one, we call them a current control because this time we are at, uh, controlling the current passing through the device you, by using another current. Transistors can be two, two types, the one to voltage controlled and current controlled. So here we can see a PJT transistor is a current control. It means that if we change the current of base, we change the current of collector. So basically we can uh, control the current of collector by current of base. So that's why we call it current controlled. But what about the MOSFET here? We can change the voltage of gate. So uh, when we change this voltage, the current passing through the transistor will change. So here we say it's voltage control because we are controlling the a current passing through device by a voltage, by tuning a voltage. So uh, that's why we call this uh, voltage controlled. Hey guys, thank you for watching the entire video. I'm going to provide you with a coupon for taking our fundamental basic concepts and components, RA RF101. So you can uh, get this course from our website. If you go to the page, you just have to select the buy this course and register here. As you see, if you're not registered up to now. So you need your username, email, password, and also you have to answer a security question and then you can uh, press the uh, register button uh, press the sign up button and uh, you will be able to uh, register in our website then after that all you need to uh, do is going to the, the course landing page and uh, go to check out and as you see click to enter your code you can put the the coupon code here and then apply the coupon. So then you will have this course for free and you can uh, take this course as you see. You won't pay anything for this course. Rasoft has one of the most complete online certificate in radio frequency available which covers practical topics needed to be a knowledgeable RF engineer. Since all courses are consulted closely by design engineers and pioneers whom have worked as RF engineers in top RF companies such as Qualcomm, Broadcom, Skyworks, Intel and Apple as well as avionic companies. It covers the necessary information to land a job or successful in your career. Your first step to take the prerequisite course, RAH RF101, which we have provided the free coupon for it, RFPREREQ101. See you there shortly.